April 1981, Branch Office, Emerson Motor Company invested $10,455 to provide sales training at the Cleveland, Ohio, Branch Office, which has 11 Emerson vehicle dealerships that have a total of 529 vehicle sales in their network. Detroit, Michigan, Emerson Branch Office receives an investment of $5,070 for sales training for its office, which has 14 dealerships with a total of 1,285 vehicle sales in its network. The Cleveland, Ohio, and Detroit, Michigan, branch offices have a combined profit of $15,269,172 for the month. Design. The 1983 Emerson BKM Compact Crossover has finished the engineering design phase and will incorporate the newly styled headlights that Fortold pioneered due to the introduction of fuel economy regulations in the late 1970s. May 1981, Emerson Motor Company has just hired a construction company to start working on the redesign of the Emerson Detroit Manufacturing Facility. The construction project will cost an estimated $872,494,400, with a federal government subsidy of $769,497. The estimated finish date for the project is June 1986. This project is to expand the crossover production of the Emerson BKM Compact Crossover, which will debut in early 1983. The 1982 Emerson Performance are 50 6 Turbo will be a performance compact crossover that is slated for sale during the month of February and will be limited to just that model year. The new 1983 model will take on part of the Emerson BKM's name and styling. The 1983 Emerson Performance M5 Turbo will weigh 448 pounds more than the R506 Turbo that it will be replacing. This is due to having a shared unibody with the Emerson BKM and not the custom-made one that is featured on the R506, which was a modified S506 unibody. The changes will also affect the handling, which will be 22% less. Braking will be reduced to a stopping distance of 133 feet, the top speed will be reduced by 10 miles per hour, horsepower will be reduced by 50, torque will be reduced by 23 pounds per foot, and acceleration by 7.056 seconds. The M5 Turbo features many of the new features that will debut on the BKM, including the addition of a front splitter, which is common on many sports cars. It will feature a rear top-mounted wing, performance wheels, engine bay heat extractors, a larger front lower intake grille, and side ground effects that redirect airflow. The other major change is the six-speed manual transmission, which was not an option on the Emerson Performance R506. There was a plan to introduce the manual once the new version was ready for production, but with the reduction in so many areas of performance, it was decided to add one to this model. The 1983 Allure Britney is a fully electric luxury saloon that has finished its design phase. The improvements that have been made to the new model include a 0.4 increase in range, and the weight has been reduced by 53 pounds. The sides of the Britney now feature ground effects, smooth flush-mounted bumpers, larger 12-spoke wheels, new headlights, and larger tail lights. The 1983 Allure Britney is the second year that the sport trim changed to Kenai, which debuted on the 1982 model. This is primarily due to the fact that the only battery and motor configuration being offered is the A3127 Gen 2. The Kenai trim offers an increase in the luxury of 0.8%, quality materials have increased by 1%, and weight has increased by 172 pounds, which decreases the range by 0.2%. June 1981, Quarterly Report. Sales are up 119.134%, which has caused taxes and the cost of sales to increase. Net income has increased by 25.968%. Emerson Motors market share increased last month to 0.5%. Contracts. The transmission and chassis contract was for only one month. Thank you, Edward J. Emerson, CEO of Emerson Motor Company.